typically the first virtual reality system that uh, a company may buy would be an active wall. This is um, a rear projected uh, VR system. They would then be able to put up their products, um, their models, their information in 3D, so in stereographic 3D like you would see at the cinema with a pair of glasses on. And it would allow them to review the data or uh, for group review of data. And that could be medical data, it could be engineering data. Now we have the active wall with a tracking system. The tracking system tracks my head and hand in 3D space, triangulating the position and orientation information which is then sent to the computer to update the 3D environment. The hand tracker tracks my hand movements, superimposing a virtual hand over my real hand. We have a navigation system as well that allows me to manoeuvre around the scene. This allows me to interact with components in the 3D scene for assembly, disassembly and examination. So I can examine the components by moving them or I can move myself to examine the model itself. This allows me to move around and truly interact with the environment. Well, Once you've added tracking to a virtual reality system, it gives you the ability to immerse yourself in that environment. Instead of being a viewer onto a scene, you're actually in there with the product. It means you can actually reach out and touch it. As uh, James um, is showing you in the scenes today, you can duck underneath things and have a look behind things. You can actually look behind a product as if it's holographically projected in front of you. It becomes a great way to interact. That allows you then um, to take things apart, to put them back together again and test all of the aspects that you might normally do in a, in a physical prototype. We're now doing it virtually, saving the cost of that prototype.